Welcome back to the channel. I know it looks like I'm telling ghost stories, but that's not what we're here for. I already uh, made all the content for this video earlier. I'm just sitting in my car. Figured I'd go ahead and make an intro for it. We flow tested a stock kegger, a slightly modified kegger, and the Edelbrock, the RPM air gap. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot. We're not going to do a lot of video. Just a couple clips of where it was at like 500 lift. And then we'll go over all the numbers. Actually, Tim went over all the numbers, and there's not a whole lot to talk about. The numbers kind of tell it all. The dyno's going to tell us what actually matters. But I did want to note, it's an absolutely stock untouched kegger. The second one is not my super modified one that's on my truck that the dyno video was made with. It's not that intake. The one that we tested has maybe two inches into the runners on the cylinder head side is kind of tapered in and I did shorten the runners in the plenum probably by four inches is a weird thing I left the outer walls full length almost uh, I trimmed them an inch and then I took the center divider and cut them in about another inch and a half so three four inches is cut out of it it made very little gain. I will end up flowing the one that's on the truck that I like super ported, like put holes in it everywhere, but not yet. I wasn't gonna disable the truck to do this test. So hopefully this weekend, maybe I'll be able to get to it and get a dyno and we'll see what it does. I'm really hoping the truck makes 340. It'd be really cool if it did, but uh, we'll see that when it happens. So enjoy the video and enjoy the information. Okay, so here's our flow numbers for our manifold test. This is the bare head. This would be a stock magnum intake. We're going from 100 lift to 600 lift. This is a ported magnum intake. This is the Adelbrock. This is a number five runner, which is the high runner. This is number four, which is on the low side of the plenum. Notice that the manifolds don't really change the lower lift numbers, but as the air flow in the head gets higher and faster, you start to see the difference in the gains. This is one reason we concentrate on working on low lift flow because that's where we're gonna put the most air in the motor. The faster that air gets in the head, the more that manifold is gonna cut it back. 